I have an amazing lesson for you all today. This one bridges the East and the West, and it's a mathematical code that goes back to ancient India, to the time of Hemachandra and Pingala, all these great mathematical masters. They had this amazing triangle and, and it was expressed in the form of like a pyramid. So they called it like a mountain. So the name for this one is called Meru. Meru means mountain. And the Prastera. This, this is a special relationship, how we can add numbers in a triangular form. So we're going to start with one because that's the Godhead. And then the Godhead repeats itself. It makes a duplication of itself. So the one becomes the two. And then to carry on with life, we must have a feedback system where we bring the past to the present. So um, here we have one and the one make the two. And this, these are all ones on the side, by the way. So they don't change. But what, what we're doing is adding the... the we're adding... For each number here, like two, we add the two numbers that are directly above it. So here we have one and two make three. Two and one, they make three as well. And here we have one and three make four. Three and three make six. And three and one make four. So um, this is a beautiful triangle. We call it Pascal's Triangle. Blaise Pascal was born around um, 1623 and he, he died after 39 years he lived a very short life but in his time he must have had access to these ancient numbers and um, the western world has remembered this as pascal's triangle so i've got a beautiful thing to show you here about pascal's triangle we're going just to do a little bit of number theory so we're just to keep writing the series now these are very special numbers in mathematics this led to probability theory one and five is six one and five 5 and 10 is 15, 10 and 10 make 20. And we'll stop there, this is inf infinite, it can go forever. 5 and 1 and 6, and you can keep expanding it. Um, so mathematicians, people have written many, many books on this stuff because inside of this triangle matrix, we have um, many, many sequences. Um, the first thing I noticed, the first thing I noticed is that if you were to add each row, so one becomes one, one and one becomes two, one plus two plus one is four, one plus three plus three plus one is eight. So you can predict, because we understand pattern, shape and pattern, we can predict without even adding up what's one plus four plus six plus four plus one. We know it must be a 16 because we've just discovered that one, two, four, eight, sixteen. So the Pascal's triangle reveals what's called the Dublin sequence. And that's another whole universe of information. And then if you looked at the numbers, like one is a one, but instead of one and one is two, think of one and one is eleven. So think of one, two, one is a hundred and twenty-one. Think of this as one thousand three hundred and thirty-one. So do, what do you notice about these numbers? So one is one. 11 is 11, but look at 121. 121 is 11 squared. And you can predict now that the number 1331 must be 11 cubed. I find that really fascinating. Um, and then the next number, uh, 14,641, is 11 to the fourth power. So it goes on and on and on. So isn't that amazing that we've got the powers of 2 and we've got the powers of 11 all in one simple diagram where all we did was add 1 and 1 is 2, uh, 2 and 1 is 3. Just by adding previous numbers, we've got a whole universe of information. So there's another sequence here. I'm going to highlight it. I'll put a little rectangle around it. 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. What do you notice about that sequence? So 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 happens to be what we call the triangle number, triangular number sequence. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 makes 6, plus 4 makes 10. So 1, 3, 6, 10 is this diagonal there. And then I'm going to look at the next diagonal along here. We've got 1, 4, 10, 20. Does anyone know where that sequence comes from? 
one, four, ten, twenty. This one's a bit more challenging, but I'll show you here. Um, if I lift this up here, um, these are billiard balls, but one plus the next triangle, number three, one and three make four. So that's where the four comes from in the chart over there. So what's the next tetrahedral number? So we've got one and three is four, but if I add the next triangle number of six at the base, one plus three plus six make 10. And then if I added the next bigger triangle number that would fit in here, I'd have 10 plus this 10 above makes 20. So um, you can see that the tetrahedral sequence is one, four, 10, 20. And this is only the beginning. This, this Pascal's triangle Meru plus Deda is highly encoded universal knowledge that has fascinated mathematicians for thousands of years from many, many cultures. And this led to the theory of probability theory. And when Pascal devoted his life to all this mathematics, he also did chemistry and physics. He invented the thing called the Pascaline, which is the first calculator in the world. So this is, we're talking about like in this early 17th century, Blaise Pascal did the first counting machine because his father worked in a tax office, I think in France, Germany area, and he needed to get faster results because it was very mechanical adding things. So this young mathematical genius um, gave us the electronic calculator after it was developed. But what I want to show you today is that we know that there's many internal sequences hidden inside. But the, my favorite one, as you all know, my, my passion has always been the Fibonacci sequence. And in my life, I like to know that the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio is in everything we know. It's a universal harmonic. So this was a beautiful surprise when mathematicians dis discovered inside the um, Pascal triangle is the Fibonacci sequence. So let's have a look. So to understand this one, we have to slant our eyes a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to highlight this one here. I'm going to go on an angle and we'll call that one. And if we keep adding the next number here, you'll see that it's also, there's only one digit there as well. When we go to the next slanted line or diagonal, we've got a one plus a one, make a two. So now, you can see what the next number is because you've got to go diagonal. We've got, we've got a one, then a two, and another one here, make a three. And, um, and here's another one here. We've got, um, so I'm going to come up again. We've got a one and a three and another one that makes five. So let's check the numbers. We've got one, one, one and two, um, one and one gave us two, one and two gave us the three here, one and three and one gave us the five. Now this is, check this one out, we've got one, a four and a three in this diagonal gives us an eight and we'll just do one more. Let's check this one, we've got the one with this diagonal line, one, five, six and a one, that gives us 13. And this goes on infinitely so we can predict the next one is 21 34 it goes on and on forever so um this is not my discovery this is ancient knowledge um mathematicians are still finding um patterns and symmetry inside of this humble little triangle of um number patterns it's a it's a continuous fascination I love researching this kind of knowledge, but as you know, my job is to make mathematics beautiful and simple. So I often spend a lot of time researching other great mathematicians and thinking, how can I make a worksheet out of this? How can I take this essential knowledge and simplify it down to the level, say for a teenager, so that they see the patterns and they get excited to see that there's infinite knowledge encoded in these amazing mathematical codes.